All right, we've talked a little bit about backgrounding in general, but let's take a look at how we can use social media a little more effectively. Now, the challenge is most people start searching on the web in one place, and we know that that begins and ends with Google. But in fact, there's a lot of other resources that we can use that Google won't be able to find this information. So let's take a look at a few. One of these is Facebook, and I know that a lot of you, less of you probably than, uh, than the next generation, but um, use Facebook just to interact with your friends. But in fact, Facebook can be an amazing tool using its graph search idea. So you can see I have this prompt here, Ohio State University graduates who went to Temple University. Now that, that's me, so I want to see how many other people there are like that. So I type that in, and let's see what our results come up. Now you can see there's a lot of other options that come up, and I'm going to pick this one, and I'm going to go over to the People tab. And automatically, who knew there were this many people who went to Ohio State and attended Temple University. So, you know, this is a great way to look for people who work for a certain company or anything that you put into Facebook, be it your hobbies, uh, be it the movies that you're interested in, the TV shows, you know, celebrities that you follow. If you're looking for stories like that, like think about the ending of a show like Mad Men or Breaking Bad. You want to find people who can talk about the impact of that show in their lives. How would you find them? This would be a great way to do that. Now, another way, uh, People Search is a terrific search engine that finds people and their background information. All you have to do is type their name in, and you're going to get this. It's called 123people.com. Um, socialmention.com really is a great resource for showing you where you're mentioned on social media. Uh, who's talking? We'll talk about another social media tool that looks at the conversations that are around you. Um, and then Spokio um, is a way for you to search through people and be able to get their information. If you have their email or their phone number, you can also do a similar search and be able to locate them. So we can play around with some of these tools in class. Now, Sometimes it's beneficial to find out who runs a particular website. So say that you have one that is on a controversial topic, but there's no identifying factors. You can actually go here, which is called allwhois.com, and this will tell you exactly who um, owns a particular domain and uh, who's licensed that. I love this one. It's called snapbird.org. Um, this will search all of Twitter's history. So you may have seen um, that there are limitations when you're searching specifically on either Twitter or using Hootsuite or TweetDeck or any of those. But Snapbird's going to go back. And so if you can't remember who said that one thing that one time, well, you can look beyond Twitter's 10-day search and go here by searching for a specific term, um, searching a specific uh, Twitter handle. And this is a great resource. Um, other opportunities for Twitter, a tweet beep will send alerts to you uh, when there's um, information that you're looking for. Um, the same thing, Monitor is going to follow a specific event or a person or keyword and will alert you when there's interesting things happening on their social media account. It's really important uh, to keep an eye on the sites that you follow. So you can look at change detection, which is a page change monitoring and notification. And so if you're following a particular website of a group, it'll let you know every time there's been an update on that website.